Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the world of cancer and explore the different types that affect millions of lives worldwide. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on all our future content. Now, let's get started. Cancer is a complex and diverse group of diseases characterized by the uncontrolled growth and spread of abnormal cells in the body. It's important to understand that there isn't just one type of cancer, but rather numerous types that can affect different organs and systems within the body. Let's start by discussing some of the most common types of cancer that you may have heard about. Today, we're going to discuss breast cancer a topic of great importance that affects numerous individuals worldwide. Let's begin. 1. Understanding Breast Cancer Breast cancer is a type of cancer that forms in the cells of the breast. It occurs when the normal, healthy cells in the breast undergo genetic changes and start to grow and divide uncontrollably. Over time, these abnormal cells can form a tumor or mass within the breast tissue. 2. Prevalence of breast cancer Breast cancer is the second most common cancer worldwide, affecting both women and, although less frequently, men. The prevalence of breast cancer varies across different countries and populations, but its impact is widespread. According to the World Health Organization, there were approximately 2.3 million new cases of breast cancer diagnosed globally in 2020 alone. 3. Risk Factors for Breast Cancer Several factors can contribute to an individual's risk of developing breast cancer. While having one or more of these risk factors doesn't guarantee the development of the disease, it's important to be aware of them. Here are some common risk factors. A gender and age. Being female is the primary risk factor for breast cancer, although it can occur in men as well. The risk of developing breast cancer increases with age, particularly after the age of 50. B. Family History and Genetics Having a first-degree relative with a history of breast cancer can increase one's risk. Certain gene mutations, such as BRCA1 and BRCA2, are associated with a higher likelihood of developing breast cancer. C. Hormonal Factors Early onset of menstruation and late menopause can slightly increase the risk. Not having children or having them later in life may also contribute to a higher risk. For lifestyle and environmental factors. Excessive alcohol consumption and obesity are risk factors for breast cancer. Lack of physical activity and exposure to certain hormones, such as postmenopausal hormone therapy, may also play a role. Breast cancer is a prevalent disease that affects millions of lives globally. It's crucial to understand the risk factors associated with breast cancer, but it's important to remember that anyone can develop the disease, regardless of their risk profile. Early detection through regular screenings and self-examinations can significantly improve outcomes and increase the chances of successful treatment. We're going to emphasize the importance of early detection in breast cancer. Let's get started. 4. Self-examinations for early detection. Performing regular self-examinations is a crucial step in detecting breast cancer at its early stages. By familiarizing yourself with the normal look and feel of your breasts, you'll be better equipped to notice any changes that might occur. Here are the key steps for a breast self-examination. A visual examination. Stand in front of a mirror and visually inspect your breasts for any changes in size, shape, or skin texture. Look for any dimpling, 
puckering, or changes in nipple position. B. Manual examination. Lie down and use the pads of your fingers to carefully feel your breasts in a circular motion. Pay attention to any lumps, thickening, or unusual texture. Host, it's important to note that self-examinations alone aren't a definitive diagnostic tool, but they can raise awareness and prompt further evaluation if any abnormalities are detected. 5. Regular mammograms for early detection. In addition to self-examinations, regular mammograms play a vital role in the early detection of breast cancer. A mammogram is a specialized X-ray of the breast that can identify changes or abnormalities that may not be noticeable during a self-examination. Here's what you need to know about mammograms. A. Screening mammograms. Screening mammograms are typically performed in asymptomatic individuals to detect breast cancer before any signs or symptoms are present. The recommended age to start screening mammograms may vary depending on factors like personal and family history. Consult with your healthcare provider for guidance. B. Diagnostic mammograms. Diagnostic mammograms are performed if there are any suspicious findings or if a screening mammogram detects an abnormality. They provide a more detailed examination to aid in diagnosis. Mammograms are a powerful tool in detecting breast cancer at its earliest stages when treatment options are most effective. Remember, regular mammograms can save lives. 6. Importance of Early Detection Early detection of breast cancer significantly increases the chances of successful treatment and improves overall outcomes. When breast cancer is detected early, it's often at a localized stage, meaning it hasn't spread beyond the breast or nearby lymph nodes. By conducting regular self-examinations and following the recommended guidelines for mammograms, you empower yourself with the knowledge and tools to identify any potential issues early on. This proactive approach can make a significant difference in your health and well-being. To summarize, self-examinations and regular mammograms are essential for the early detection of breast cancer. Performing self-examinations allows you to become familiar with the normal look and feel of your breasts, enabling you to recognize any changes promptly. Meanwhile, mammograms provide a more detailed examination, detecting potential abnormalities that may not be noticeable during a self-examination. Remember, early detection saves lives. Make self-examinations and mammograms a part of your routine, and if you notice any changes or concerns, don't hesitate to consult with your healthcare provider. Stay tuned for more informative videos as we delve deeper into the topic of breast cancer, including prevention, detection, and treatment options. If you found this overview helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with others. And of course, subscribe to our channel to join us in spreading awareness and knowledge about various health-related subjects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.